Hi everyone, uh, Tim here. Basically, uh, just want to uh, show how to adjust the uh, Q uh, lever, which uh, on the Thorns TD-165, don't be fooled by the, uh, the camouflage here, but uh, this is actually a TD-165 turntable. <clears throat> and this of course is the Q up, Q down lever. And what I'm finding is the Q lever here is very, very slow, very sluggish to drop the uh, drop the arm onto the uh, onto the platter. The platter I have down over there, and uh, normally sits in this system here along with its twin brother over here, which is working much better on the Q. So uh, basically, the way you uh, you fix these, but what I suspect is. You know, it hasn't been uh, uh, greased or oiled in probably its lifetime. So these are mid-70s, early 70s turntables. <clears throat> so uh, basically what you need is a uh, very, very small Allen key. I'm not sure the exact size, but you can uh, very easily figure it out. So on the side here is a little adjuster here. So you can unscrew it and loosen it off. And you can actually remove that whole... Uh, armature. So what you have to do is slide the arm or the uh, arm all the way over. And you can pivot this thing, and then this will just pop right out, and then over and lock it so it doesn't uh, flop the arm around. And there you have it. So a little bit dirty. So we'll clean this thing up with nice uh, mild soapy water and. Uh, get the uh, so it's not sticking when the arm uh, slides across the, uh, the Q um, rail here and you can actually see this thing will focus you can see the little hex nut right by my thumb there and that's basically what locks it in on this uh, on this post and uh, I got part way through this and I thought I'd film this just uh, for people that uh, have seen some posts and audio uh, karma and uh, various other forums as to uh, asking how to adjust the uh, the Q lever on this so that uh, it runs at the correct speed and uh, and if it's you know if it's too fast too slow how do you adjust it so mine is too slow this is how I'm adjusting it so we remove this and then what you have to do in this case I have a uh, uh, a custom uh, bottom plate that I've done here and uh, I've already removed it as you can see and then what we'll do is we're gonna put a nice soft cloth down so we don't mar the uh, so we don't mar the the plinth and what I've done is I've already you can actually see there is the Q lever mechanism and you can see there's a little cable that runs uh, to the armature here which is tied to the up and down Q lever button here and what it does is it pulls on that little I can't point because I'm holding up the, uh, the plinth and I don't want my turntable to come crashing down but you can see a little plate down there with a groove in it and basically what I've done is I've disconnected the uh, the armature uh, cable um, how can I do this to point it um, you can see the armature cable, the, the little drum there that's uh, just hanging. And it fits in that groove of the plate there that you see in the center mass. And what it does is that when you activate the lever, it actually pulls it out. Now there's two screws that holds this whole assembly into the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove those two screws. And then I'll show you uh, what you do to be able to grease that, um, that uh, barrel assembly that goes up and down for the Q lever, Q lever. So we'll pick it up at that point there. Okay, so, there we got it out. And what I had to do, I left the uh, the cable connected on that end. You can actually see this is the uh, extension cable. So when I adjust the lever, you can actually see it move in, and then it will spring loaded here. This little plate here, the armature, basically moves out and when that moves out this whole assembly you can see how it moves down see 
And what happens is if you don't have good, clean, uh, smooth silicone grease and it calls for 200,000 um, CSD, I think, rated silicone oil or silicone grease uh, to make that a smooth. And you can see that it's quite sticky. You know, I'm having to put quite a bit of force on it here to uh, get it to lower. So that's why it's so sluggish when you pull the cue, the weight of the arm and everything, it's, it's not enough to push it down quickly. So I, what I suspect is it's old grease in there and what's happening is it's um, basically just jellified and it's, it's causing it to be very, very um, gummy and therefore is not uh, as smooth of a, an action as it should be. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and clean out that. There's also an adjustment screw here, right on the side here, which can, as you can see, there's a post there and you can adjust it ever so slightly uh, so that it's in an optimum spot. At first I'm going to I'm not going to mess with that screw. Uh, I don't think that's a good, you know, it's a factory set thing. I don't think it's moved. So I think what it is is just the uh, the oil. So the question is how to get the uh, oil uh, in that barrel all cleaned out. And then uh, and then what I did was I got this, uh, uh, if I can find it. Um, I'll show you in another video as soon as I can find it. Oh, here it is. <coughs> So, uh, this is Crossman pellet gun oil. It's silicone, and uh, I'm hoping that this will be the same uh, sort of um, uh, consistency as the uh, silicone, silicone grease or silicone oil that's uh, specified by the, uh, by the turntable manufacturer, which is Thorin's. And unfortunately, there's no numbering on here, but I have a feeling that it'll work. So I'm going to try it and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, so what I ended up doing is I did uh, release that screw, which you can see there. Uh, it turns out that that's actually screwed into the, uh, the post that goes in here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these, uh, my wife's a nurse, so she has all these alcohol swabs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swab that right out and get it to focus. And you can actually see, come on, there you go, where it screws in. There you go, where it screws in. And uh, so you can feel this is kind of all jammy, gummy kind of uh, feeling, and it's dry. So uh, it does need lubrication, and that's probably why it hasn't been. Uh, lowering quite as quickly as it should be. So I think uh, basically all the oil dried out for many, many years and uh, now we're going to give it some new life. So what I did was I left the... Uh, this thing's having a hard time focusing. There we go. I left all the armature and everything in its place. So basically this will slide down there. You just align that and then pop the screw in and then it'll be... Uh, it's not adjustable like I'd originally thought. And uh, so once it's all cleaned up, and then I'll have to try to uh, clean out the barrel of that. So what I may do is clean this a couple times, ram it down, and then do that a few times just to, uh, you know, get this all all greased up or, or uh, um, alcoholed up, and then swab it down the middle just to clean out the uh, inside of the barrel. And then, uh, and then we'll give it a good coating of, uh, of silicone grease and then reassemble everything. So it should work good. All right, that part's done. So you can see the uh, the swab there. I actually used about two or three of them. Got this nice and clean. And now I've got this thing sliding down through the barrel really, really easily. And I uh, managed to, I believe, get all the, uh, the gunk on the inside of the, the pipe out. I could have used a little pipe cleaner or something like that too, but I think I got her all good. The other thing to note here is there's this little, uh, it's like a, it's not a gasket, it's just a spring-loaded uh, um, washer, I guess you'd call it, and just make sure that kind of holds it in place on there, so make sure that doesn't fall out and you don't lose it or whatever. 
The other thing is, of course, these screws and everything are really itty bitty. So uh, the next thing to do is I'm going to open up that package of uh, silicone oil that I showed you here. And uh, basically, I'm going to give it a good little coating and uh, on, both on the inside and, and here. And we'll see how it works. So um, I'll pick it up where I've, uh, I've oiled it and then I've reassembled everything back to uh, prior to reinstallation. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. It was, uh, it was a little bit tricky to get that screw back in because to get it lined up, you had uh, two springs acting on that post. One to... Uh, that's attached to this lever here, which rests on the bottom of that post. And the other spring here, that's the bottom spring, and then this spring which actually attaches to this armature that uh, pivots around this, uh, basically this, uh, this screw here. So what I ended up doing is disconnecting the spring, just use a set of tweezers, and uh, then I was able to fiddle that screw back in and get it screwed in and then uh, and all the while holding that this lever back. Anyway, it uh, it uh, took a little bit of coaxing, but I got her all together. And as you can see, I've even got the uh, little barrel in on that plate that acts on the plate. So you can see here as I activate the uh, lift, you can see how it works. Now, of course, this is only moving a little bit because you need gravity uh, to work it, but it actually does pull the thing down and uh, the uh, you got really good fluid motion of the uh, the shaft there inside the uh, the collar so I think I've got it and I think it's uh, it's working good so you can see everything springs back and bounces back into the uh, normal position so uh, we'll flip the turntable back up and put in everything put everything back in in reverse order so I got to Use these two screws here to screw that back in on the bottom side of there where it pops up. And then, of course, we I'll clean up that uh, the Q rail and uh, with soapy water and uh, get that nice and tiddly. And hopefully we'll have a much smoother operating uh, Q lever. Very excited. So more to follow. All right, here we go. We've uh, got the turntable all reassembled, bottom put on. A bit of tuning and uh, I'll show you the cue. Got a little moody blues here and of course my custom made head shell and my custom Thorns TD165 turntable and there we go. Working fine. I think the, the oil is a little bit too light. It is a little uh, much faster actually. Uh, going down and going back up. But um, I think what I'll have to do is experiment with different uh, thicknesses of uh, grease that goes in there and see if I can find a happy medium. But there you have it. Turntable is now working good. There you go. Thank you for watching.